The Braves and the Cardinals split the regular season. The Cardinals won the first meeting 5-1, to one, and then in the second meeting, the Braves got redemption and beat the Cardinals 15-5. to five. In those games, Jerome Andrew had four strikeouts in the win. Tony Attar had two strikeouts in the two games. Lance Santos had six strikeouts in the loss. And in the second meeting, Jared Palomo went one for three at bat with a solo home run, scored three runs, and had an RBI. For the Cardinals, Mike Castro had a complete game and a win with six strikeouts. Carlos Quintanilla went three for eight with a solo home run, scored two runs, and had five RBIs in both games combined. And Nate Lujan went three for seven with two runs scored and an RBI in both games. Now the season leaders for the Cardinals, Carlos Quintanilla went 10 for 41 at bat, had eight runs scored, seven stolen bases, three doubles, a triple and a home run, and had 11 RBIs in his batting 244. Mark Polino, one home run and seven RBIs in his batting 341. Jared Alerta was 13 for 53 at bat, had 11 runs scored, eight RBIs in his batting 245. Mike Castro went 8 for 21 at bat with 9 RBIs and batting 381. Now the leaders for the Braves in this season, all of them have over 10 RBIs. Jathan Munya Barnes has 15 RBIs and is batting 300. Alan Shermento has 14 RBIs and is batting 344. He also got a home run for the season. Rico Castro is batting 333 and has 12 RBIs for the seasons with 10 runs scored. So this matchup seems to be pretty even. So at the start of the series, it seems the Braves have the edge over the Cardinals. But again, the two teams split the regular season. This should be a good matchup to start off the playoffs. Thursday, the Bank of Guam A's and the AK Islanders will start off their series.